right guys, so uh, we're going to take this set of ribs. Just going to clean up a little bit of the fat off of this. And probably most of you know there is a skin on the back of this. Silver skin on the back and just got to pry this out. So that's it there. It's always, I mean, if you keep this on, it's tough. But the other thing is that <coughs> the, um, uh, the spice, the rub that I'm going to use on this will penetrate the meat from this side. It won't put this skin on there. Um, but it just makes it so much more tender. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I've washed my hands because I'm going to touch some stuff here. So uh, I've got my um, injector juice, which is a combination of zesty Italian dressing and apple juice mixed 50-50. So um, you have to strain the, uh, the bits, otherwise uh, it'll get stuck in the injector. So that's a bit of a pain. But uh, just you got to strain this in order to get the bits out so they don't get clog up the injector. I'm also using um, Back Eddie's seasoning salt. So this uh, came from uh, a buddy of mine, Connell Ramsey, in, in uh, uh, Yellowknife. So he uh, uh, brought some of this back for me, and uh, this is really great stuff. Um, it's just salt and uh, spices like uh, garlic and onion. Uh, so it really helps with the uh, um, with the ribs and adding some of that extra flavor so we are going to uh, inject into the meat this concoction so there's my uh, injector and it's pretty easy you just put it into the uh, juice and draw it up I think I have a little Oh, I'm at the top. <clears throat> and we're going to inject it every couple of inches on the meat. So uh, I'm going to flip this around so I have the meaty side over here. So I'm going to inject it between the ribs as well as uh, through, through the top. So uh, it's pretty simple. Just stick that in. And slowly squeeze that out as you're injecting. This can be a little bit messy. But I guarantee you, this is always worth it. Okay, so now I'm going to flip this around. And do the other side, do it from this side. And again, I'm just going into the muscle. Sometimes if you poke through, you'll end up with a little squirter. So you just got to be careful how you do it. Okay, so you can see the, the space between the ribs here is starting to blow up um, with the juice. So this is good. So I'm going to put a little bit here in the top as well. Alright, 
So I think that's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this in cling wrap and I'm going to put it on a tray and I'm going to let this um, sit in the fridge for a little bit. So uh, let's get a tray here. Don't you hate cling wrap? So guys, I got the ribs wrapped and uh, they're in saran wrap. I'm going to stick them in the fridge for two hours. Then I'm going to start the slow cooker, give it a half an hour or so to, uh, to heat up, to come up to temp. And uh, stick those bad boys on. And uh, I'm going to use a method called 321, which is, um, and I'm going to put a rub on this and you'll see in the next section I'm going to put a rub on this. Um, but we're going to use 321 method of cooking, so it's going to be three hours unwrapped in the smoker uh, with smoke. I'm going to use applewood chips uh, and then I'm going to foil it for two hours with no smoke and then the last hour no smoke and I'm going to put it on for another hour unwrapped uh, the last hour and then dig in and devour these things. So uh, this is going to be great. So stay tuned. Okay so the ribs were in the uh, fridge here for a couple of hours and now we're gonna spice these guys up all right I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a little bit of um, mustard as the binder doesn't really add anything to the taste or flavor of it. It just gives the stuff spices the ability to stick, although that's pretty wet, so I probably don't even need that. <coughs> you don't need very much of it. And... I'm going to use um, this Lambert's uh, Sweet Rubble Mine. Sweet Rubble Mine. So that's what I'm using on this. This is mostly, um, well, when you look at the ingredients lists, um, sometimes they start with um, salt, sometimes they start with sugar. I'm going to go a little sweet, so this is going to start with uh, a bit of, uh, of um, so this has got mostly, or the first ingredient is sugar in this one. So, I'm going to really coat this guy up. that's wet enough. I don't think I need the, the mustard on this, but let's just see. Really want to coat it well. Certainly want to get those edges. 
So the slow cooker is on. So I'm going to let this kind of sit and absorb for a little bit. I'm sure that I will have to uh, make, um, you know, a little bit of, uh, that, that I'll probably have to add more on here. Uh, it's like, you know, you always miss some spots. So I think it's one of those dealies where uh, I want to make sure everything's coated. So I'm going to let this, uh, I'm going to let this sit for half an hour uh, while uh, the uh, smoker is cooking, is heating up, and um, then we'll slam these bad boys on. Okay, so the smoker reached 275. Now it's time to put these bad boys in. Okay, so the ribs are in. We'll add some smoke to this every 45 minutes and uh, let this go for uh, three hours and then we'll wrap them. So I think Uki likes the idea of that too. All right. All right, it's been three hours at 250. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's see how they look. Oh, well, they're coming along. Nice little bark on there. Might be a little bit burnt. I don't know, maybe I should have it higher up. Uh, anyway, we'll check it out and see what happens. I don't know, these look good. Oops. Take that probe. <sighs> oh no, those are perfect. <laughs> wow. Wow, they look great. Put the ribs in tin foil. Got them all settled in there. Shut this up before we lose too much heat. And let her go for another two hours, no heat. All right, it's been two hours in the tin foil. Let's see. Let's open this up, it's been two hours in the uh, tin foil. Oh wow. Oh my God. 
Look at that. That looks amazing. Let's see if we can pick this up and put it back in for one more hour. Oh, it's falling apart already. Oh, he dead. Already falling apart. <laughs> All right, well, let's put them back on for another hour and uh, get that bark to harden up. Might just give them a little spritz here of uh, some rub. Just a little bit. I don't think it needs too much, actually. All right, let's just put this in, go for one more hour. All right, it is time to take these out. <coughs> they should be done by now. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. It's a dry rub, so you know what? That's not too bad. You can tell though that uh, where I ended up uh, breaking the ribs, it dried them out on the side there. So well, that's all right. So with the dry rub, can't wait to try it. Joey then just walked through the door. It smells so good in here. Now this is. You're not getting a bite of the internal, but you're going to get a little bit of the outside. Just hurry up and I get know. it to me. Mm, that's good. Wait. You can... Mm. You can really, really taste the smoked part of it. That is so good. You know, it almost... Right at the end... Oh my God. It tastes cut like a like beef jerky. Like it has that little texture, not more texture, but the flavor of it. Uh, that beef jerky that we always buy. Oh, that's so good. Are we eating now? <laughs> you like that? Oh my god, that's probably the best ribs that you've you've had. Yeah. Because usually we buy those store bought ones, other than the other ribs that you used to do. Yeah, I know. And yeah. those were really good, but that is so. Amazing. This one was injected. With 50-50 uh, apple juice and Italian zesty dressing with some of Connell's um, spice that he brought us. Um, and it was all injected through the meat. And uh, yeah, so... And do you see how good that really tastes good. without barbecue sauce? Yeah, I did decided not to do barbecue sauce because I know that's what... I just like the natural... Other than a few spices, I'm not big on barbecue sauce. Well, this has sugar. a rub on top, so there is a... Which it, which it's caramelized, so there's a there's a sugary rub. It's not salty, which is why I chose it because I think you and I would prefer not. Yes, yeah. it's, it's sometimes it gets salt is overpowering. So, but this is so it's caramelized. And it, makes, it makes you drink more beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this is great. Oh no, that's that's more than great. Right. Those are the best. Well, let's dig in. Can't wait, Papa. All right, Joylin's going in. We're gonna watch okay. some TV, and I got some rice on the go and some peas. And that caramelized sugar. I want you to actually break off a bone and have it. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this is my favorite part of, of meals when they're crispy. Like I like bacon crispy. I like that, you know, this is more caramelized, that caramelized, caramelized piece of it. Oh, look how just how it falls right off. Oh, okay. Oh my god. That is even better than the other bite. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. That is delicious, Frank. Yeah. I have to tell you, that is that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my god. Good job, Papa. Alright. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Check out the details below in the description. There's lots of information in there. And please leave me a comment. Leave me your thoughts.
Love to hear from you guys. I always try to reply to everybody's comments. As well, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get the notifications when a new video has been uploaded. As well, if you like this video, you'll find more just like it right here. And don't forget to head over to my website by clicking right there. Thanks for watching.